Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It is bank holiday weekend again, so VE weekend. It's Saturday currently. We didn't do much yesterday, we were just chilling. We were gonna video, but you know when you just, you, you haven't got anything good to do really, so it would be a bit of a waste of footage and we didn't wanna bore you with that. So we just had it really chilled yesterday, um, but today, because the weather is still so nice, we're gonna go down to the canal near us. It's literally just around the corner go out for a bit of walk, bit of exercise, get some vitamin D. Husband's over there. You okay? Yes, I'm good. Raise your roll. Do you like his new t-shirt? It's very fluorescent it's for fluorescent, Adam. but I don't, I don't even care because it's Mandalorian and everyone knows a Mandalorian is awesome. If you don't think it's awesome, you're wrong. Because this, this is, is the, the way. way. <laughs> and I also cut his hair. Mm. It's actually really not that bad. Yeah, little uh, undercut, nice and trimmed at the back, look, well, cut, cut all the dead ends off. Well, insert a uh, before and after photo. Pop me cap on, back to handsome. So yeah, we're just going to go out for a, a little walk. I might bring you along for us cooking this evening. I am going to do my famous barbecue bonanza, which I haven't done in oh, so long. We haven't had it in, what, three years? Yeah, well, since we've moved in this house, it was back in Homefield that I cooked it. Just a bit of a casual weekend vlog type situation this mm. weekend. So let's get to the car. You tired yet? It hurts a little bit. <laughs> We've been walking for about what, 20 minutes? No, probably more than that. Is it though? Well, I haven't been off the sofa in about five minutes. <laughs> Bit of a monster. Yeah. Are you enjoying your walk? Lovely. A duck next to some beer. Times are hard for the ducks. Years and I didn't even know this bit was here. I just it was... Hmm? Crane. Not only is there a crane, but there is a goat. Billy goat broth. Just chicken. just chilling out. And some chick chicks. Chilling out with a chicken. That's the brand new bridge, the new Holton Way, which is crap because it stopped you from going anywhere but Holton. Yeah, and now it's a freeway thing. I don't like this bridge. The other bridges are nicer. 
It is quite disappointing. They've literally just like, this is literally opened, this bridge opened up in the last like few months guys and it just shows that all they have done is just plonk a bridge on, make a road and open it up. They haven't tidied up anything, there's so much mess back there and just, just like bits laying iron around, ironwork left and around and just all this stuff just dropped and left around. It's like, there's no tidying up, there's no making it look nice anymore. It's literally just get the road open so we can point people in the right direction. It's I thought they'd a bit shit really. Come off a little side entrance because there's a big viaduct that we've never known how to get to and there it is but we're actually trespassing and we're on the golf course so we need to not be not be seen i'm a rebel <laughs> but no there's, there's no one here like yeah there's not we checked it on google maps and it is pretty much cut off from everything the only way you're getting on there is if you're actually part of the golf course and there's no way we're walking around it so <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get to it. So it's now just purely... Purely decoration. Decoration for the golf course, but... It's a shame, really. I've always wanted to try and find my way onto that, but... This is Near a mind. This is a nice place, though, but we better get off, because we're not supposed to be on here. Bye! Here comes security guards. Who's regretting not getting a drink? I wanted to take the backpack and take a drink. Well, you should have told you... I thought I'd, I'd be a good wife, and I'll listen to my husband. And we're... I don't know, maybe nearly two miles in and it is boiling. It's gorgeous though, absolutely gorgeous to get out in the sun. But I am thirsty. Can you go in that? Well, it's not technically part of the golf course. <laughs> yeah, but it's someone's land. Nay, nay. Little ponies. Duckies. It's like nice walking day. with a child. Have a nice day. Be safe. <laughs> what the hell is that? Mm. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, that's gonna haunt me in the night. He's judging you. Mm. Well, we've made it to Hill Morton. Yeah, good. We've we've covered sometimes. a bit of length. So that's if everyone knows obviously where we live, that's the bridge that goes under towards Hill Morton. And then that way goes to the new Holton. Covers some distance though, haven't we? To you, I think we're gonna wing it, guys. We might keep going, we might head back. Stop, Almost there. there I can see the car, we're close. <laughs> I'm knackered. Uh, so, yeah, we went, walked from Browns over to Good morning. Uh, I'm putting you down here to get all my chins because there's like loads of people around us and I'm a bit embarrassed. <laughs> um, but yeah, Browns over to Morton, through Clifton, through Holton. Oh no, we didn't get to Holton. No, we didn't. Turned we're around. Holton Bridge, but... um, so done over, what, nearly 12,000 steps? Yeah, almost. Which is the sweaty hair. Which is the most we've done in about two months. Yeah. So, very tired now, so we're going to go home and Chill probably... Out, make some tea. Make some tea, drink some alcohol. This is the result of the walk right <laughs> So I'm about to cook. I'm here having a bit of jammy roo, listening to a bit of take that, which I'm gonna have to cut in a minute because of copyright. But look at this state. It's bank holiday. Like Monica. No, it's Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah, the big day night, Saturday night, Saturday <laughs> night. We're cooking some barbecue bonanza. Mm. Now, we're not doing step by step, but all it is, is any kind of like barbecue sauce. So this is just a hunter's chicken sauce, but I think as to do like a proper barbecue sauce or whatever. So just any jarred barbecue sauce. Bit of mince, we've got a one kilogram one. So it's gonna last us ages. Onions, because it's always in our fridge. Chorizo. You can't say no to chorizo. <laughs> uh, paprika. Our favourite little uh, peppers that oh, I yeah, showed you in the previous one. It, as you can see. Not we only bought them last week. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. That's all it is. Literally you just 
fry your onions off, a little bit of chorizo, fry your beef off, and then just add the sauce, obviously add these, these and these, and just cook it. That's all it is. It's not really much cooking, it's just putting some ingredients together. So, Well, let's get to the chopping. Let's get it going. Some onions in. Bug them in. Straggler. Yeah. Straggler's down there. Man overboard. Let those fry for a little bit. Don't want too much colour on them. Onions are sweaty a little bit. And now I've got to put a kilogram of mince into a tiny saucepan. I haven't thought this through. Let's do this. Right. Where's oh, it going? Is it going to go? <laughs> <laughs> it just, <laughs> just kind of sunk in. Oh, look, look how depressing that is. Just. It's just. I'm melting! <laughs> These are not the Sarah Cooking Chronicles that I know. This is not right. It's just going to take a little bit longer to fry it off and get all that water out. But we've got time. It's bank holiday. It's lockdown. I said we're not going anywhere. The tunes are playing. The wine is flowing. Top tip whenever you're doing like any kind of bolognese or anything to do with beef mints, Oxo cubes. Just gives it a bit more of a beefy flavour. Now for years, I used to take it out of the packaging and like sprinkle it with my fingers. No, crush them. Crush it. In the packaging. And then it opens up little OXO sachet. Sachet oh. away. <laughs> God's sake. And then just easy. Right, so we are nearly there with that mince. We're going to put in our peppers, which are already cooked anyway, so they don't need any cooking, and the chorizo, which is already cooked, but just to release all those nice oils. What are you doing? What do we got over here? Cup of jars. A cup of jars. So that's all fried off. I know people will be like, oh, you're using a cooking sauce. This recipe was made, I was about 20, weren't I? When I first started to cook, I was like, I wanted a take on the spaghetti bolognese and make it barbecue -y. That's all I did. Barbecue sauce. Going in. Barbecue going in, Marion. <laughs> barbecue going in, love. Hey! Mouse. Mouth. The first one. Yeah, go in. Get it gooey. And that other one going in. Ooh. We have got a lot of mint, so I'm using two jars. And then also, fill it up with a bit of water. Do you want to get all of that saucy goodness? Make sure you put the lids on before you shake it. <laughs> well, obviously. I've gone before and gone, oh, no, I haven't put the <laughs> lids back on. Now that is a big old pot of sauce. That's going to last us a long Ooh, time. Oh, yeah. Now, this will blip away for a good half an hour, so it will thicken. Even though that is kind of consistency we like, we like it nice and saucy. So the sauce is nice because I haven't tried this Tesco sauce before. But I'm going to put a bit of Worcestershire. Just a little bit of paprika, just to get it extra smoky. And then I haven't used any fresh garlic, so I'm just going to put the tiniest little bit of just garlic granules. A little bit of mixed herb. I was just saying to Adam, oh, I might put some red wine in there, because that's what I usually do with a spag bowl. But then I thought, nah, I'm thinking of putting a bit of JD in there. Having a bit of Jack Daniels barbecue. Jack Daniels sauce. Jack Daniels sauce. Spitting everywhere. Spin on me, man. Everybody in. Spitting. Right, so I'm just going to literally kiss it with some Jack. <laughs> I can already smell the hangover. Early 20s. Just a little cap. Maybe. Half a cap more. That'll do. That's more than enough. That's it.
done. And I think that is us for Saturday. We've done a little bit of cooking, a little bit of dancing. A little bit of walking. I drank a bit of wine. <laughs> so I'm going to just eat this. We're going to watch Thor Ragnarok tonight, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're making our way through MCU again. Yeah. Getting close to the end. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Hi guys, it is now Sunday. Not Sunday morning, it's just gone into afternoon. Oh yeah, hasn't it? As you can see, we're sporting our comfies. Pajamas. <laughs> pajamas. This is Christmas pajamas as well. <laughs> Today, it's just a chilled one and I've decided I'm going to do some baking and I never bake. I, I never bake. I'm really scared of it. But I'm really craving some chocolate brownies today. Got a little recipe off the internet, just a little simple one. So we're going to give it a go. Uh, pray for me. So these are the ingredients. Not much really. Spring of butter, plain flour. I managed to get some flour as well. Um, caster sugar, cocoa powder. And then it said just in the recipe some dark chocolate, but I'm going to do half and half. So I'm going to do half the brownie, a triple chocolate. So I've got milk, dark and white. And I found this in Aldi. It's a rip off of the Biscoff spread thing. Yeah. I think it was like 99p. So we're going to do half of that as well. I also forgot to say that you need five eggs for this recipe. And they're a little cupboard to preheat the oven to gas mark five. So I've done that. Uh, which is 190 degrees Celsius in new money. The first step is to put into a pan the butter and the sugar. So I need to weigh this out. So they're saying 450 grams of caster sugar, which seems a lot. Oh my goodness, am I actually going to have enough? How many is in a kilogram? Really? 450 grams? <laughs> it's going to be the whole thing. 450 grams, that is a lot of sugar. I've literally got the littlest amount in the bottle. <laughs> Sorry if I'm walking like a penguin. I bet hurt my hip doing all the walking yesterday. God, that seems a lot of sugar. It does, doesn't it? This is why I don't bake. I'm very, very, very scared of baking because it's so precise and I just bung everything in when I cook. 225 grams of butter. This is a 250 gram block God, this is a lot of ingredients <laughs> this is a definitely a trial by fire oh god Let's see if i can get this dead on this slice is for you <laughs> stuck Oh. Guys, 224, it's 225, honey. Yeah. That is that is so close. Oh my god. There it is, it's 225. <laughs> wow. Bang on. Shit. That's a lot of butter. How have you managed to do that? Wow. <laughs> Just call me magic, eh? <laughs> so we need to heat this up in a big pan. The big pan because we are actually putting all the ingredients in there before we transfer it onto a, a, well, it says a baking tin. I don't have anything cakey or anything like that because as I say, I don't bake. So oh. I've just got a little like, just baking enamel and put paper in it. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but it all does the same job. The sugar and the butter, heat it up in the pan. Right, so that butter is just really, really gently melting away. Don't turn the heat up because if you burn butter, you get horrible taste. 55 grams of cocoa powder. Is she gonna nail it first time? I don't think she is. No. <laughs> <laughs> not even clear. Uh, 56 grams. It's for That'll do. See, this is why I shouldn't bake. It should be precise. Right, so we've got that measured out. Getting there, that's a lot of fat. <laughs> and we need to put all the sugar in there as well and gently heat them together. So I don't know, it doesn't say to do it after the butter's melted or do it at the same time. Uh, I would say personally do it when the butter's melted. Now, I didn't say in the recipe to, to beat it or anything, but I found it it was quite grainy, so I've beated it a little bit over the heat. Most of the sugar is now melted into it. So it says, take off the heat once that's done, and we are going to add the chocolate now, so the pieces of chocolate, not the cocoa powder. Now, it says 140 grams. This is 100 grams, but I'm mixing it up and putting some more chocolate in it, so this will do. So just... Bang it up. See so you whacking away. 
Whack that. Chocolate. Whacking and whack. Oh, whack and wall. Oh. Well, you make yourself off. So as I say, it's off the heat now. Add the chocolate in. And it will just melt in the residual heat. Ooh, yeah. Smells nice already, doesn't it? Mmm. Remember what it reminds me of? What? Chocolate ready break. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I haven't had that in a long time. Since I was a nipper. No, we nipper. Is it always one of them little kids? <laughs> it doesn't say to continually stir it, but I'm, I'm, I don't want it separating. Like I know what I'm talking about. I don't bake. I just thought it might separate with all the fat in there. So that's all nice and melted. So I need to now measure my flour. Calls for plain flour, and it is 110 grams. So not much flour really compared to the fat, which means... This is why brownies are bad for you. <laughs> it means it's going to be really fudgy, gooey. Oh, I'm well excited. What was it? 110? I think I've done it wrong. <laughs> 110? Uh-oh. Da, 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 da. 111, that'll be fine. Take it away. Just get, just get 110. Don't, don't mess around with flour. There we go. 110 grams. Don't know if this is the right consistency. It looks very grainy to me. But now it's saying to be in the eggs. Now, it doesn't say one at a time or anything like that. This recipe is a little bit naff. So what I've done is just crack the five eggs into a bowl. And I'm just going to be in one at a time. I'm just going to go on my instincts, which I don't know how I'm going to do now. Just there put, we go. One. one in. Beat. Beat in. Beat that egg. Again, this is all still off the heat. Next egg. Booyah. Uh. Come on. Stubborn little bugger. Now this is coming together now. I was a, I was a bit scared that it was like, oh, it's all grainy. I can see the, I can see the gossiness of it already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, work out bloody hell. This is why I don't <laughs> bake. <laughs> and I thought you got a bad hip. You're going to have a bad arm at the end of this oh, as well. Oh, dear. The next egg. I think this was a good idea to just do it one at a time, even though the recipe didn't call for it. Ooh. I think if you just added it all at once, it would just split. Final egg. Ooh. So chocolatey, and we haven't even put the cocoa powder or the other bits of chocolate in yet. Ooh. So I've just combined the flour and the cocoa powder. It doesn't say to do that, but I think... Like I did with the eggs, I think I'm just going to put a little bit in, beat it in, not put it all in at the same time. Just do it gradually. Not all in one. I'm scared of doing all in one. <laughs> so I'm guessing just beat it in. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. It's probably fine, <laughs> she says. Wing it, it'll be alright on the night. You can't wing bacon, that's the problem. Why don't I do it? <laughs> Last little bit of dry. It's a very wet mixture, but I suppose that helps with it being all gooey. recipe didn't call for this but we are putting even more chocolate in plonk some big chunks of chocolate in half of it and then the other half we're using the the biscoff spread and we're just gonna get little tablespoons of it and put it right in the middle of the brownie mixture we need to put this batter into our little makeshift cake tin i'm thinking this is gonna be too much for that oh yeah go for it everywhere this is another reason why I don't bake so we're going to do it half and half so half the triple chocolate half the biscoff so I'm literally just gonna plonk it in it's gonna drown
this in our oven now. I really hope it turns out well. It looks so nice. It says for 30 to 40 minutes. Should be firm to touch, but also with a bit of wobble in the middle because it is gooey. Bye, my friend. Please turn out good. Bye, bye, brownie. Let's wash up. So I've taken it out. I'm just a bit cautious about this. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of a crispy brownie anyway. It's still coming out a little bit of goo on there, but I think once it cools down, it might set a bit. So we'll let it cool. Cover up the burn bits. <laughs> so we're done. I'm really excited. It's all cooled down now. It's a little bit warm, but I can't wait any longer. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it up, and then we're gonna try this bad boy. This is the triple chocolate one and that is the Biscoff one. So we're gonna both have a little try. I'm really nervous. So try the chocolate one first. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. Oh, it's really dense. Is it? Is it nice? Mm, that is really good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I thought that was bad then. Oh, it's sticking to my mouth. It's just, oh, it's so cockatoo. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. You sure? Holy shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to try the um, the Biscoff one now. Now this hasn't got any chocolate chips in it, it's just purely... Biscoff bits. Oh god. Let's go for it. Nice. Yeah, it's better than chocolate chip. Mmm. Mm. My turn. Oh. Oh. Nice, isn't it? Mm. I didn't think it'd go with chocolate. It does go really well because it's just like you get the nice chocolate tea, but then it's like a slight twang of the biscuit off. Yeah, it's not too much. And this is really nice because it's such a nice gooey centre, but the crunch on the outside is perfect. I There's call so it many burn. textures and flavours all kind of messed into one. So it's not burnt? No. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. We're not going to want our tea now, are we? Yeah, because we're cooking the chicken. We're putting on the chicken. Bye bye, brownies. We have got another layer on the bottom as well. Yeah, so much. Oh, yeah. It was like a family of six or something. It'll keep us going for a day. <laughs> Yum. Done. I'm not going to want my dinner now because mm. I've eaten so much brownie. <laughs> really nice. Mm. Very stressful though. There's a reason I don't bake. I still think that it might be a bit too gooey in the middle, but it's still really warm. I just couldn't wait to let it cool completely. <laughs> so I'm going to put on a chicken. Yeah, I'm having a chicken for tea. There's no point really showing it because it's just chicken. It's nothing in Yeah, we're not... You know what chicken is. I'm not doing a roast, I'm literally just roasting a chicken. Chicken and chips. And now we're going to go and watch the rest of four Ragnarok because I fell asleep last Yes, night. you did fall asleep. I just, I could just see you just slowly edging over to your side. It's like, she's going to fall asleep. And I was like, babe, yeah. You fall asleep? No, yes, you are. <laughs> so I just turned it off. I was like, no, I'll watch it another day. Yeah, so we're going to watch the rest of that and just chill now because I'm tired. Maybe yeah. some more Last Kingdom as well. Thanks for watching our little weekend vlog. Sorry it's not much, but we can only well, do as much as we can do. Stay safe, guys. And and like subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified when we do post videos I'm trying to do it every week mm, i'm still tasting the berry <laughs> in my mouth <laughs> right we'll see you soon guys Bye. take care